Hey guys, it's Goach here, and welcome to another squad builder that we're going to be doing on the channel, and um, this squad build is going to be a, a really, really expensive one. Now, uh, obviously, um, obviously I had the, or the last squad builder was a cheap one, and uh, this one is going to be a really, really expensive one, as I said, it is going to be a full Legends team. Um, I've never done a video like this before, and um, I thought I'd try out a full Legends team to see how it was or how it plays, etc. And to be honest with you, um, some games you absolutely smash people, and some games you get absolutely smashed. And uh, to be honest, I don't know. I didn't particularly like it. I prefer playing uh, in a team with these two, with Ronaldo and Ibra. Um, and I heard that Legends were really, really overpowered, so I decided to use them. And uh, yeah, so I'll show you the team. Uh, so first off, in goal, we do have David Seaman. Obviously, uh, the, uh, the the legendary English keeper from um, from World Cups and stuff. Uh, he costs you around 260k. Um, to be honest, at the moment, legends are so expensive because of there's so much hype about them. That's why I use them as well, because a lot of people are saying that uh, full legend teams were amazing. Um, seven games played, obviously no goals and no assists, and you unfortunately can't see clean sheets, so... Uh, you can't see that, but uh, yeah, for 260k, he's an okay keeper. Um, I think I think the thing that let him down was definitely the fact that uh, he um, gets beaten at his near post a lot. Now I know a lot of keepers do, but some uh, keepers like Team of the Season Czech and Neuer do save uh, a lot more than Seaman did actually uh, save. But anyway, in the middle centre, well, I'll put the three centre backs in. Uh, we do have Desai, Campbell, and also Rijkaard. Now uh, Desai does cost you around about 1.3 million coins uh, at the time of me purchasing him, which, to be honest, for a centre back is pretty ridiculous. You can get someone um, that's five ratings higher, like Team Lear Tiago Silva, for uh, a third of the price, and uh, you can get someone that is, uh, well, you know, uh, probably three times better. To be honest, he wasn't that good. Um, he does have perfect work rates of low high, um, but he's not that tall, and 82 pace and 88 dribbling, uh, 88 defending and 88 heading on a centre back uh, is really, really good. But I don't know, he just didn't play that well. Unlike Rijkaard, who probably uh, was, he was just awesome. Um, never made one mistake for me. Um, absolutely superb centre back for how cheap he is. Uh, 400k, six foot three. He's absolutely brilliant, and I really, really liked him. Along, along with Campbell, I really, really liked Campbell. Um, I think I will try and make a team, not a full Legends team, but um, I think partly why I didn't like this team as much was because it had, because uh, it's a 3-5-2, and I really, really don't dislike three backs on this game. Um, but yeah, overall, um, they played really well, these two. Uh, Desai wasn't that good, considering he was the highest rated centre-back, but they, uh, these two were absolutely superb. The two CDMs that we have, the first one is going to be Vieira, and the other one is going to be Effenberg. Now, um, Vieira was absolutely class, and uh, Effenberg wasn't as good as uh, people have said he is. Um, he wasn't that good at all, but uh, for... For 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 an 86 rated player that's only 360k, uh, he did the job quite nicely. Never scored a goal, but Vieira uh, got got one goal and one assist. Um, his goal was really really good, uh, really really nice long shot. And uh, but the unfortunate is that he does cost around a million coins. Now, obviously. For a CDM, that is quite expensive, and uh, he's not the greatest CDM you can get on the game. Obviously, you have Team of the uh, Team of the Season, Thiago, so, uh, Team of the Year, uh, Yaya Torre, for example. Um, but yeah, for, for someone that costs so much, he didn't perform as well as I thought he would. He was really good, but he wasn't, like, incredible, like uh, Yaya Torre is, etc. Um, which, that was, uh, you know, one of the most annoying things about the team. The two, well, the left and the right mid is going to be Freddy Lundberg, and the other one is going to be Paolo Futra. Now... Neither of these really shone, shone out to me in the team at all. Um, Paolo Futura is better than Lundberg, but I don't know. Lundberg just seemed to get in better positions than Paolo Futura. But when Lundberg got the ball, he didn't do anything about it. He he, he felt really sluggish and slow. His shot was weak. Um, I think he scored one goal for me, and I don't think Paolo Futura scored any goal. Oh, he scored one, yeah. Um, but to be fair, Paolo Futura, when he got the ball, looked as though uh, looked like dangerous and looked as though I might be able to like score a goal with him, etc. Where Lundberg didn't, um, which was, you know... A a bit annoying, but overall, um, I don't know, they were okay, but they weren't the best wingers, and uh, I'd much prefer to have someone like Ronaldo or Ribéry uh, on the left-hand side rather than Paolo Futra. Um, the cam is going to be um, Rui Costa, 
and uh, he was absolutely superb. Uh, three goals in seven games with one assist isn't too bad. Um, he does cost around 500,000 coins. Um, I think I ever paid for him, for this guy just. Um, but yeah, he was really, really, really good. Got into really good positions, um, dictated the play a lot, and uh, he was definitely, um, in my eyes, the best player in the team. Um, definitely, definitely uh, really want to use this guy again. I think I'd, I'd rather use him in like a 4 one 2 on 2 or something where he can... I use him up front with... Uh, with um, the first strike in the team, which is going to be Clivert. These two were definitely the best players in the team. Clivert managed to get four goals and one assist in seven games. Um, Clivert, in my opinion, is the perfect striker. He's got really good pace, really good shooting, decent passing, really good heading, really good dribbling, really good strength, perfect work rates, good height, perfect weak foot and skill moves. He's absolutely awesome. Um, there's nothing, there's no weakness to him at all. There's nothing wrong with him. I guess the only thing you could say is that he doesn't have five star skills or a five star weak foot. But other than that, he's absolutely awesome. And uh, him and Rui Costa linked up really, really well. Um, the probably the worst player in the team is going to be this guy, um, Henrik Larsson. Now I did a score builder on him with Freddie Lundberg at the start of the uh, when Legends first came out, kind of um, uh, on 360 uh, and. He was really, really good for me. But this time, he scored one goal and got two assists. He was absolutely awful. Um, I definitely recommend putting Weyer up front or someone like that with Cliver. Um, I could afford Weyer, I think. Or actually, I don't think I can afford Weyer. I think I can afford someone else. Um, I was originally going to put Vieri up front, which I kind of wish I did. But to be honest, I wanted to try Larson again, and uh, he wasn't that good. Um, I definitely recommend if you're going to build a team like this to... Um, put someone else up front with him. But yeah, guys, that is the team. Um, overall, I think it does cost about five to six million coins. So uh, yeah, it's a really, really expensive team. And uh, I de if you do have the coins, I definitely recommend you um, go and try it because it's really difficult to explain how it plays. It's really, really strange. Um, but if you do have the coins, as I said, then make sure to go ch to go try it out. It's absolutely awesome. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed, then please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the goals at the end, and I'll see you all next time.